This lesson will review some of the derivative formulas we've already covered, plus the new derivative formulas, the derivative of e to the x with respect to x equals e to the x, the derivative of a to the power of x with respect to x equals natural log a times a to the power of x, the derivative of natural log x with respect to x equals one divided by x, and finally the derivative of log base b of x with respect to x equals one divided by the product of natural log b and x. So here we're asked to determine the derivative of each function. First we have f of x equals four natural log x minus two e to the x plus five x. The derivative function f prime of x is equal to the derivative of four natural log x, which is equal to four times the derivative of natural log x, which is one divided by x. Two times the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x and then plus the derivative of five x, which is equal to five times the derivative of x, which is equal to one. Simplifying, we have f prime of x equals four divided by x minus two e to the x plus five. Next, we have g of x equals two to the power of x minus seven x cubed plus three, and therefore the derivative function g prime of x is equal to the derivative of two to the power of x, which is equal to natural log two times two to the power of x, since the base a is equal to two. And then minus the derivative of seven x cubed, which is equal to seven times the derivative of x cubed, which is three times x to the power of three minus one, which is two, and then plus the derivative of three which is equal to zero, because the derivative of a constant is always zero. Simplifying, we have g prime of x equals natural log two times two to the power of x minus 21x squared. Next, we have h of x equals nine log base eight of x plus one divided by six x cubed. Before we find the derivative here, we will need to write one divided by six x cubed using a negative exponent so that we can apply the power rule of differentiation. Doing this, we have h of x equals nine log base eight of x, and then plus one sixth x to the power of negative three. Remember, if we move x cubed across the fraction bar, it changes the sign of the exponent. And now we can find the derivative function h prime of x. h prime of x is equal to the derivative of nine log base eight of x, which is equal to nine times the derivative of log base eight of x. We're again looking at the derivative formula. In our case, known as b, the base is equal to eight, and therefore the derivative is equal to one divided by the product of natural log eight and x. And then we have plus the derivative of one sixth x to the power of negative three, which is equal to one sixth times the derivative of x to the power of negative three, which is negative three times x to the power of negative three minus one, which is negative four. And notice here we can write negative three x to the power of negative four as a fraction with the denominator of one, and we can simplify. Negative three and positive six share a common factor of three. There are two threes and six, and one three and three, and therefore the negative three simplifies to negative one. Giving us h prime of x is equal to nine divided by the product of natural log eight and x, and we have plus negative one half x to the power of negative four, which we can write as minus one divided by the product of two and x to the power of positive four. Again, notice how I rewrote this second term using a positive exponent by moving x to the power of negative four to the denominator. Now for our last example, we have j of x equals two log x plus three square root x. Remember, log x is common log, meaning this is log base 10. And we also need to write the square root of x using a rational exponent so that we can apply the power rule of differentiation. Remember, the square root of x is equal to x to the power of one half because the exponent on x under the square root is one and the index for the square root is two. So let's write j of x as j of x equals two log base 10 of x plus three x to the power of one half. 
and therefore the derivative j prime of x is equal to the derivative of two log x or two log base 10 of x, which is equal to two times one divided by the product of natural log 10 and x, and then plus the derivative of three x to the power of one half, which is equal to three times the derivative of x to the power of one half, which is one half times x to the power of one half minus one, which is negative one half. Simplifying, we have j prime of x equals two divided by the product of natural log 10 and x, and then we have plus three halves times x to the power of negative one half, which we can also write as three divided by the product of two and x to the power of positive one half. Again here, we can rewrite x to the power of negative one half using a positive exponent by moving it down to the denominator. And we could take one more step. Remember, x to the power of one half is equal to the square root of x, and therefore we can also express j prime of x as j prime of x equals two divided by the product of natural log 10 and x plus three divided by two square root x. Either of these last two forms are acceptable. I hope you found this helpful.